A seven on your side story revealed a new kind of ATM scam. Thieves using glue and the ATM's tap feature were draining victims' bank accounts. It happened to several Chase Bank customers in San Francisco, but the bank denied their claims. Yeah, so the question is, what are your rights if your money is stolen? Michael Finney is here with that answer. Yeah, we've done a bunch of these yeah. stories, and I've got to tell you, they've gone viral. Uh, let me explain how this all works. Thieves pour glue into the ATM card reader. Since the cards cannot be slid into the slot, customers had to use the debit card tap feature. Now, that simple change allowed crooks to sneak in and steal customers' money. Now, the law says banks have to offer refunds, but Chase ruled the money had not been stolen. The reasoning was, well, we counted the money in the ATM and the money was gone, so therefore you took it. And it was blunt like that. Ani Demusheva says it was bad enough when thieves stole her money at this Chase ATM. But then the bank refused to believe her. They told me, there's nothing more we can do for you, Ms. Dimushva. Have we answered all your questions? And I'm like, no. And they just pretty much said, you know, you don't have any proof of these claims. The same thing happened to Joey Malarkey. Thieves at the same ATM stole $1,700 from his account. Chase told him he must have taken the money himself. I called, spent hours on the phone trying to talk to supervisors to get them to just look at the video. And they said... No. Joey and Ani are among the latest to report scammers had swindled them at this ATM. In each case, Chase Bank rejected the claims. We are not returning your funds as these were authorized transactions. I said this is ridiculous. Well, I didn't authorize it. And that they, they should have a picture of who actually did. You guys have cameras. And she was kind of just adamantly like, well, you have to prove it wasn't you. Under the law, under EFTA, it's actually the bank's burden to prove that the transaction was authorized. The problem here is the bank is not complying with its responsibilities. You have a right to a full investigation and you must get that full investigation. Consumer advocates say banks are required by law to conduct a quote, reasonable investigation of every customer claim and cannot require customers to prove the fraud. The victim said Chase refused to review surveillance video to see who really took their money. What I was told was you cannot pull the security footage unless you have a subpoena from the police. They said that the police have to request the surveillance video or else they don't have any access to it. When the bank comes up with some kind of excuse that's wrong they have a responsibility to investigate your complaint and make you whole consumer advocate ed merzvinsky says the bank cannot ignore evidence like surveillance video and customers said the branch manager knew about the scam they put glue in the card reader of the atm machines so you can't use your cards and when the card reader didn't work a stranger offered help. The guy who is there, he says, oh, you have to tap your card. I usually don't use the tap, uh, but I was like, okay, I guess I'll use the tap. So I just tapped my phone and pulled out the $40. And I tapped the card. I got my money and I saw kind of the guy move in to the ATM after I left. This is when I got kind of a red flag. The next day, Ani found five more withdrawals from her accounts and $940 was gone. Joey found six withdrawals, leaving just $19 in his account. Turns out that by tapping a card at Chase ATMs, the transaction window stays open even after the cash comes out. If the customer walks off without closing the window, a thief can step up and withdraw more money. After we contacted Chase, the bank reviewed each of the customer's claims and returned their money after all, telling us we are making changes to our ATMs to protect our customers. Chase did not say why it denied claims or what efforts it makes to investigate ATM fraud. Now, we do know, though, that to steal money, thieves need to re-enter the card's pin. So aside from glued card slots, thieves had to watch or record while victims entered their pin. So always cover your keypad when you enter your pin, no matter where you are. I know it seems like a hassle. You look right. around, nobody's there, but there could be some pinhole camera yeah, somewhere. That's true. So be very, so we can very at least careful. do that. Yeah. yeah.